Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Been a minute, been a minute. It's actually been such a long time since I've recorded that I'm feeling some type of way about my comfort levels, you know what I mean? But uh, yeah, before I get started, I hope everybody's doing well uh, with lockdown and, you know, quarantining. I feel like everybody in every part of the world is either lockdowning or quarantining and self-isolating and all of that. So I really hope you are all doing okay, that you are safe, that you are trying to manage your anxiety levels if you're one of those people, which I am too. But I wanted to come on here and actually do just a fun video, you know, something we could, you know, get to know me a little bit more. But this one is called the 50 questions I've never been asked. Uh, tag. It's also a tag and I really hope whoever watches this and is on uh, YouTube does it as well because I, I feel like I looked through the questions a little bit and yeah they seem like they're fun interesting questions so I'm gonna get into it right now and let's have a fun video let's relax let's take our mind off all the things that are happening in the world and yeah okay so the first question is what is your favorite candle scent for me it is typically anything with vanilla anything with patchouli or um uh ooh. Ooh, it's hard. Amber, anything musky. If it's not vanilla and clean-ish, then I want it really dark and oaky and musky. Those are my favorite candles. I often go to the dark, oaky, musky ones in the winter time, uh, and then I use the fresh vanilla scenty, patchouli scenties, uh, jasmine scents as well are my favorite. I use those in the summertime, in the warmer months. Which female celebrity do you wish was your sister? Uh, mm, I would definitely love, um, is it Viola Davis from How to Get Away with Murder? I would love it if she was my sister. I feel like with a sister, you want somebody that, you know, ula, ula. She's not only crazy and whatever, whatever, but at the same time, like, I really would love to pick her brain. If, if I could ask for anyone else to be my sister, that I love my sisters, but that would definitely be my sister. Which male celebrity do you wish was your brother? Definitely somebody funny. I mean, my brothers are funny, each to, like to their own degree, but uh, I feel like if I wanted a f brother, a celebrity brother, but home, it would definitely be Bo Will Smithy, Yabon, because he's funny, and who else? Um, Oh, this is a tricky one. Just anyone who's funny and black, obvious. Um, how old do you think you'll be when you get married? Uh, <laughs> at this point, I don't even think that'll be in the cards for me. I, I, okay, if I didn't marry some, some at some point in my 20s or whatever, I don't, I don't see it happening. I really don't. Uh, but soon, let me say soon, maybe. Maybe. Uh, I'm, I'm in my 30s now, so I don't know. Soon. <laughs> soon and very soon. We are going to. Okay. Uh, do you know a hoarder? No. Funny enough, I don't. I mean, if we're going to talk about people who hoard in terms of like if you hoard like makeup or if you hoard like, uh, you know, there's a certain thing that you hoard, but not somebody who just hoards each and every single thing and their house is messy and all of that. Nah, I don't. I don't. Can you do a split? Uh, where? Why? What, what would the goal or the achievement be? No, I can't do a split. No. I can't. Um. How old were you when you learned to ride a bike? I don't recall, but I definitely know that I was either primary school, primary school towards high school. Yeah, definitely still quite small primary school, I would assume. So somewhere around the ages of 10, 11, 12, somewhere there. Somewhere. Um, how many countries have you been to? Off the top of my head, let me see. Mauritius, Italy, Tanzania, Rana. Japan. I feel like let's say about six, six or seven, six or seven. How many oceans have you swam in? Um, I actually don't swim in the ocean. 
Like I can go to a coastal place and a holiday by the beach and what have you. I don't swim in the ocean. I have a fear of open, vast, dark water. So I really don't swim in the ocean. I literally get in the, the, up to maybe my thigh area and that's pretty much it so i don't swim in the ocean and i did that when i was in tanzania because the water was just pristine blue like i could see everything but for for just just getting in for for the fun of it no no it's, it's not my life that's it's not my life is anyone in your family in the army no as far as i know no there's no one in my family that's in the army what would you name your daughter if you had one and what would you name your son I won't say that. If I did have a daughter, which I feel like I, I want a daughter in my life, I do, I do, at some point. Uh, but I, I, I wouldn't say the names because how about um, What's the worst grade? Okay, what's the worst grade you got on a test? I mean, I've failed. I failed tests before. Um, in varsity, I failed a test. I just don't remember. Definitely, definitely. No, no. I've probably gone up to an E, like a D or an E. And yeah, big old tricky having to explain that to my parents. What was your favorite TV show when you were a child? Definitely loved gummy bears. If we're talking about cartoons, definitely loved gummy bears. Definitely loved Dexter's Laboratory. Uh, um, uh, in terms of TV shows, TV shows, I really didn't, I didn't watch much TV that I would remember. I mean, I watched your generations and all of that, but no, nah, I, I mostly, I remember in my high school, primary school years, I would always, almost always just watch cartoons on TV or movies. That's pretty much it. Have you read any of the Harry Potter, Hunger Games or Twilight series? No. I haven't. I've watched the Hunger Games movies and the Twilight movies as well. Uh, not too crazy about either of them. Uh, Harry Potter, not not at all. I, not keen, not interested. Uh, I watched the movies of the Hunger Games and Twilight and I thought they were okay. So I, I wasn't too crazy about them. Would you rather have an American accent or a British accent? <laughs> neither. Can I say neither? I, I don't... I don't like it. I feel like if I had some somewhat of like a French accent, yes, yes. But American or mm, either or really don't. Now I think I would prefer mostly the British accent if I had to choose. Like it's very posh, you know. It, you know what I mean? Yeah. Are your grandparents still married? No, they are not. Have you ever taken karate lessons? Does judo count as karate? Because if judo counts as karate, then yes, I did. I took karate lessons and I went all the way up to a yellow belt. Hey, I achieved. Okay, yellow belt is literally the first belt after the white belt. So it's really not much. But I did judo in high school, uh, primary school and high school. I did. I did. Do you know who Kermit the Frog is? Yes, I do. I do know who, I mean, come on. Is there anyone who doesn't know who Kermit the Frog is? Uh, What's the first amusement park you've been to? Gold Reef City. Obvious. I mean, if you live in Johannesburg and you grew up in Johannesburg, the one major theme park you would go to is, or uh, amusement park, is Gold Reef City. And then you would have to stand under that man who's got his hand here, like to show that, okay, if you're under here, then you don't pay. <laughs> <laughs> if you're above, then you pay. Like, I'm pretty sure people who know Gold Reef City know exactly what I'm talking about. They know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. What language besides your native language would you like to be fluent in? Definitely French. I've always said this. I've said this to my French-speaking friends. Uh, Curve Cut is one of them. I always say to her, please teach me French because, ah, oh, man, it just sounds, you know, it sounds really, really nice. It sounds sexy. It's nice. It's, it's seductive even. It's a really, really nice language that. Is your father bald? Absolutely. My father's been bald as long as I've known him. And that has been them 30 something years of my life. My father has been bald. No, I'm lying. There was a time when I was young, when I was very, very small, my father had uh, a head of hair, like a, like a Jermaine Jackson cut nyana, like, like, kid cut nyana, said some pony, some yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he did, he did, he did. Uh, do you know any triplets? No, I don't. Do you prefer Titanic or The Notebook? Definitely prefer 
the notebook Titanic is great. It's just such a beautiful love story. I'm about it. I'm about Titanic, but I definitely prefer the notebook. Definitely prefer the notebook. Have you ever had Indian food? Oh my God, yes. I have. I've had Indian food before at a friend's place and I've had Indian food just generally like ordering out or going to an Indian restaurant. But wow, the flames, my stomach sold the following day. Ah, sham. Ah, sham, 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 sham. But I have, I have. What's the name of your favorite restaurant? Currently, I really don't, um, I really love Marble right now. I feel like that's the one restaurant I miss quite a lot since the lockdown. But, um, let me think. Really, really tricky that. Have you ever been to Olive Garden? I'm in South Africa. We don't have Olive Garden, do we? No. We don't. We don't. Uh, what would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? I feel like they would have named me the same because Gateo is man and woman. Gateho with an H. I feel like I get that a lot. Like people will spell my name with a G and it really grinds me. <laughs> okay. I feel like my parents would have named me Gateo either way. If you have a nickname, what is it? Yes. Uh, my sister calls me Kitty Cat. I hate it. Uh, quite a few people call me kitty cat, uh, cat, um, yeah, there's certain people that are in my life that call me by the names that they are comfortable calling me with, so, yeah, my cousin will call me snai, like, it's just, yeah, I've, I've got funny, funny, very, very funny nicknames. Who's um, your favorite person in the world? Oh my god, that is very hard to, shh. Uh, my favorite person right now in the world and my, my siblings are going to be very upset with this. If, if a lady watches this, she's going to be very upset. Uh, my favorite person in the world is Hanya, my little sister. She is just everything in a bag of chips. She's my number one. I love her. I love her. Okay. Would you rather live in a rural area or the suburbs? I mean, I've done both. So I was very young, very, very young when I, I was rural, like Paris. Like rural, I was really small, but um, definitely I love urban areas. I love, yeah, yeah. But in terms of if I had to retire somewhere, I would definitely love to retire in a rural area. Definitely, like have a countryside house and what what, like the blessing. Definitely, definitely. Uh, can you whistle? <laughs> yes, I can. Do you sleep with a nightlight? I don't sleep with a nightlight. Because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really too fussed about being in the dark. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with sleeping in the dark. Uh, the only thing that keeps running and is on all night is my humidifier, really. Do you eat breakfast in the morning? My breakfast is after 12, which is around because um, of my intermittent fasting, especially now with lockdown, I'm like crazy on my intermittent fasting. So I normally eat after 11, 12, depends. Do you take any pills or medication daily? Definitely now with the lockdown, my anxiety has been kind of crazy. So I take those sometimes if, if, if I feel like it's on the days where I have to go out and buy groceries and things like that, then I'll definitely take uh, my anxiety medication. Otherwise, no, the only other thing I take daily is the pill. It's a pill. What medical conditions do you have so far? Been blessed, been that I'm thankful, gratitude. I don't have any, as far as I know. How many times have you been to the hospital? Countless times. Countless times for something or other. But if we're talking about being admitted, I've been admitted twice. Twice in the hospital, yes. One was for a surgery and one was for something else, like he assist. If he has assist. Have you ever seen Finding Nemo? Of course. Who doesn't love Finding Nemo? I mean, hello. Just keep swimming. Uh, where do you buy your jeans? All my jeans are from Levi's. I feel like Levi's has the types of jeans that I love. They, 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 they contour around my body very nicely. You know, they sit very comfortably. I love Levi jeans. So most of my jeans are from Levi's. What's the last compliment you got? I don't remember, actually, I don't remember the last compliment that I got. Yeah, because we've been in lockdown. Like, I haven't seen people where someone will be like, ooh, you're so pretty, or whatever. I, if, uh, I haven't, I haven't. I don't remember the last time I got a compliment, which is actually quite tragic. That's sad. Do you usually remember your dreams in the morning? Never. 
never it's so rare for me to remember my dreams the only time that i do remember it and i remember it very very vividly is when i dream about my mother if i don't if it's not a dream about my mom i'm not remembering it it's just it's it's not happening what flavor of tea do you enjoy if you watch this channel you will know i love green tea i love green tea with mint i love chamomile tea i love jasmine tea i love i love tea I'm a tea lover over and above a coffee lover, but I do enjoy the good odd Nespresso coffee here and there. How many shoes, pairs of shoes do you currently own? I have no idea. What I can tell you is definitely it's more than 50, maybe even more than 70, 80. It's a lot of shoes, a lot of shoes. Okay, last three questions. Here we go. What religion will you raise uh, your children to practice? I mean, I'm Catholic. My religion is Catholic. So I would, if I had a, if I had a, a, a baby, and yeah, I would definitely raise my child in the Catholic faith. Um, if I get married and my husband is a different faith, I still feel like I would raise my child. I would have to have a conversation with my husband. But I still feel like I would raise my child, the Catholic faith. Um, that is it. That is 50 questions done. I skipped one or two because they weren't relevant to like the space I'm in. Uh, but, um, yeah, 50 questions. You've never been asked YouTube tag. I tag everybody who watches my videos and who's a YouTuber. Definitely. Please do this tag. It's so, so nice. It's, it's different questions. It's questions that you don't really get with all the other tags. Um, I'm thinking of doing another tag right now. But until the next one, we're going to cut this one here because it's fairly long. So we're going to cut it here. Until the next video, I'll see you very, very soon. Take care of yourself. Be safe. Stay isolated. Stay at home. Stay at home. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm home too. I'm home too. I'll see you in the next video.